Hello, friends of Trinity on the Hill United Methodist Church. Thank you for joining me once again for an update. As you can tell, I'm here in the beautiful playground of the Trinity on the Hill uh, Preschool as well as Church Nursery. Uh, this is where we feel the loneliest uh, when we come out here and our kids are not playing uh, as they do during the school year. Uh, Loy, uh, the director of our preschool, has got all of our teachers working hard at sending information to parents, whether they're in the kindergarten or whether they're uh, in just the preschool groupings. Uh, we're very proud of them, uh, trying to keep ahead of the coronavirus isolation and helping our parents out as well. I've been doing a lot of thinking lately about how the church responds in these different uh, emergencies, uh, whether they be national or global. I remember back on September the 11th when it was the United States that, were at, that was attacked, but yet the whole world felt the tremors of that uh, terrorism. And it seemed to me that uh, the church played an important role for a couple of weeks, and then it seemed that our nation put more of their trust into the military response. Uh, to that invasion, and that that was uh, something that uh, we prayed for, uh, but it just seemed like we forgot the role that God uh, plays in our lives. And now as we think about this particular um, pandemic, uh, it seems like we're putting our trust a lot in the medical world and scientists, and that's important that we do so. I think God has given us both those gifts so that we can use them, but not that we would lose trust in God. So I'm always reminded of the psalmist uh, in Psalm 33, where he talks about putting our not putting all of our trust in those kinds of things. Well, let me read this to you from the message, Eugene Peterson's translation. This is verses 16 through 22. No king succeeds with a big army alone. No warrior wins by brute strength. Horsepower is not the answer. No one gets by on muscle alone. Watch this. God's eye is on those who respect him, the ones who are looking for his love. He's ready to come to their rescue in bad times. In lean times, he keeps body and soul together. We're depending on God. He's everything we need. What's more, our hearts brim with joy since we've taken for our own his holy name. So love us, O oh God, with all you've got. That's what we're depending on. So just a, a reminder that we continue to trust God, even as we also trust in the medical world and as we have trusted in the military in times past. So let us make sure that we have our priorities straight, that our trust in God comes first. On Wednesday, the Bishop of the North Georgia Annual Conference sent out some news via the website, and it uh, involves the uh, appointments and moves for the North Georgia Conference. As many of you are aware, I was scheduled to retire on July 1st, but now that has been postponed until August, uh, September the 1st, so I'll continue another two months before that appointment is, uh, is made. So just thank you for that. Connie and I are very happy that we we're able to uh, do two more months, especially as we try to recover from uh, this uh, pandemic. So keep us in your prayers, and we're glad that we're going to be here another couple of months. Uh, that's about all we have from this, uh, from the church. So hoping that uh, you will see me on Sunday. I might not be able to see you, but uh, we'll be worshiping at 945, Three on the Hill, uh, live streaming through their Facebook and a YouTube channel. And we'll also be on NBC local station at 11 o'clock, and we'll be live streaming that as well on our YouTube station. And you can catch it later on as you go through the website. So God bless you. Keep your trust in God, and we will see th this through together. Thanks.